It is currently like, what, 40 degrees Celsius outside? Thank you for coming to my channel and watching me get baked alive. Merry Bookmas, book lovers! It is G-Swizz here, and I am here today with day 10 of Bookmas. Today's topic will be your top 10 favorite covers of 2016. I'm not gonna go in particular order, I'm just pretty much gonna get started. The first book I have on this list is A Million Worlds With You by Claudia Gray. Every single one of the covers in this series are gorgeous. I don't know if this is my favorite one, to be honest, but it is still so pretty. The cover designer, like you, are doing no wrong. This is just amazing and it's made me want to pick up the series even more. I originally picked them up because of the covers, but then when I heard the premise, I'm like, dang, that sounds pretty good. So yeah, I'm really excited to binge read this trilogy. The next cover I have to show you today is Siren Song by Mary Weber. I freaking adore this cover. I personally think it's my favorite cover in the series. I mean, I really do like the bluish color of the first cover, but the way the dress is done and like the neck and everything that's surrounding her, I mean, I just find this cover so perfect. I mean, seriously, cover goals. The next cover I have to show you today is Children of Ida by Joey Graceffa. I just freaking love this cover so much. You can kind of see the metallic look, but it feels so matte. Like, it's just amazing. It's kind of like a 3D type of thing. I don't know why. I just absolutely really love this cover. I love the coloring and everything like that. And I swear to God, I didn't pick it up because of the cover, guys. I swear to God. The next book I'm going to show you is Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. I freaking adore it, this cover. I hate the UK cover so much. We have kind of a burning passion. I also hate the typography on that cover, but this one just screams out pure perfection and it actually suits the story very well. And I freaking love Wind Witch's cover as well. Like, I'm really excited to get that book and hopefully get it in the US hardback instead of the UK paperbacks because they're not really that great. The next book I have to show you here today is Yellow by Megan Jacobson. I've talked about this book a couple of times on my channel now, but the cover is just so great and like, you know, it's an eye. And it's so vivid and so colorful. It's everything I want in a book cover. Whoever was the cover designer for this, like, please, design everything for me. I just, I, I love this so much. The next book cover I have to show you today is The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. I freaking love this cover because it's a castle, but it's also a crown. Whoever made this cover is a genius. And everybody who has the high covers going crazy over the fact that it has, like, a gold spine or something like that. I have the paperback, but it still looks very pretty, and I also love the spine as well. It's really cool. The next book I have on this list will be Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. This cover is so great. It's, like, half metallic, half matte. I haven't read this book yet, but I bet that it sets up the feel of the story so well. I just love it. Like, you can see in the background, there's a Middle Eastern desert. I love the coloring, and I love the gold combined with the coloring. And Traitor to the Throne, which is the second book in the series, also has an amazing cover. I mean, completely different design, but it suits the first book so well. I just, I love it. The next book I have on here will be Gemini by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. There's just something about this blue that I absolutely love. Like, it's one of my favorite blues ever, and I love the fact that they use blue Sharpie underneath as well. Underneath the dust jacket, it is already good enough. But even when I was to see it on the computer screen without seeing the actual physical book, I just freaking love the cover so much. I love the Illuminate covers, but I really love this one because I really love the shade of blue. This shade of blue and the Illuminate cover goes so well. Somebody's walking past my window. Dang it! The second last cover I have to show you today will be Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I just think that this is cover goals. When Cassandra Clare started publishing books, like her covers were just okay. Actually, they weren't really that great, but this one changes the game. This one doesn't consist of somebody's body chilling in front of a camera trying to look badass with their face cut off. No, this one consists of Emma in the water, just like with her sword, katana, and it's just like... It's so cool. There was a scene where Emma was like fighting in the water or something like that and this cover just helped me full on picture that and imagine that. It's just so glorious. It's so beautiful. I'm so happy for Cassandra Clare that she has an amazing winning cover. Oh my goodness. I could gush about this cover all day. I love it so much and it's one of my favorite books ever. I also love the gold like in the middle of this beautiful bluish greenish color. Like it's amazing. And the final cover I have to show you today is the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them original screenplay by J.K. Rowling. Now this color purple and this gold and this typography and this design just fits it so well. Like you literally feel you're picking up a classic. I love this cover and I love the story within this book so much. I need to watch the movie already guys. That is going to be it for this video today book lovers. Follow me on my social medias. I'm at Books on Twitter and Instagram and I am also at Goodreads. That's www.goodreads.com slash I love you book lovers and I will see you later. Peace.